Hi everybody and welcome to day 23 of the 30 day tapping challenge. We've had some great response and some amazing comments, some wonderful shifts. People are really taking this on and incorporating it in their daily lifestyle and letting go of some negative stuff that may be holding them back. So today we're gonna to tap on our beliefs about breast cancer and our and a healing journey. And you have to ask yourself, are they supporting you? Hey, Whitney. Or are they hindering you? And so in second edition of the book, Heal Breast Cancer Naturally, there's a quote here from Laura Silva. She originated the Silva Method. And she says that your beliefs govern your living experience. So you have to ask yourself, do you believe that life is always hard and it's a struggle? Or do you believe that life can be good and happy even in the world that we live in today? Is your home filled with stress and strife? Or have you created a home, hey Jesse, or have you created a home that is filled with peace and harmony? Do you believe that there's never enough money to make it to the end of the month or to buy all your supplements and get through your healing journey? Or do you believe that doors will open and somehow you'll find a way? And lastly, your beliefs about cancer. Do you believe that healing cancer and reversing cancer is so difficult that it's unattainable? It's unattainable for you? Or do you really believe a thousand percent you're convinced that your body has the abil ability to heal and that you will be able to reverse this dis-ease in your body? So on a scale of one to 10, I want you to think about how your beliefs are impacting your life. And you have to be very honest with yourself about you know, what your beliefs are. Do you tend to be a negative person? Are you a Debbie Downer? Or do you tend to be more upbeat and positive? Because that is going to have an impact on your health. We know that every thought we think creates a neurotransmitter or chemical that's going to speak to our cells, our immune system, our healthy cells, our not so healthy cells. So on a scale of one to 10, how do you think your beliefs are affecting your life and your healing journeys? Give it a number. 10 is, wow, it's not good. I really have some negative thoughts and negative moods most of the time. Or, you know, maybe you're at about a four or five. You just need some help. So remember that tapping is designed to stimulate specific acupuncture points. And what that helps to do is it calms down your nerve system so that you're not in that fight or flight mode. And we know we cannot heal when we feel like we're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger, right? We wanna put our body in a very relaxed, responsive mode. That's the parasympathetic system that allows the body to heal and to regenerate. And that's what tapping does. Tapping helps you to get into that state by calming that stress response and allowing your nerve system to calm down and your thoughts. It's great to release negative thoughts and to implant positive thoughts into the subconscious. So follow along with me. If you've never done this before, you think it looks weird or it's, it's strange, just do it anyway and see how you feel the shift. I remember the first time that I did tapping way back in, what was it, 1982 or something, um, I was amazed uh, at the shift that I felt. It, it's, it's an incredible therapy and it's free and it's been proven scientifically to turn on over 72 positive healing genes. Now, if you could buy a pill that would do that, you'd pay millions of dollars, but this is free and it's at your disposal anytime, anywhere. All right, so tap along. Even though I may have some beliefs that don't really support me, I'm open to looking at them and giving them a voice. Even though I may have some beliefs that are not always so positive about my life and my healing, I'm open to change and new possibilities and new beliefs. <clears throat> Even though I have to admit that sometimes I have some negative beliefs about myself, about my healing journey, about my life, I'm open to the possibility of thinking about things differently 
and having more positive beliefs that will support me in my life. All right, so follow along with me. So inside the eye, just tap. You can tap with one or two. These beliefs, side of the eye, sometimes they're not always positive. Under the eye. Sometimes this healing journey is quite a struggle for me. Under the nose, I don't always have positive thoughts on the chin. And I know that a lot of my beliefs, collarbone, on the inside of the collarbone, may have been implanted in my little mind under the arm when I was just a child. Top of the head, all the things I heard my parents say inside the eye, all the things I heard my teachers say, side of the eye. My little mind was like a sponge under the eye. And all those thoughts and all those opinions under the nose may have been implanted in my subconscious mind on the chin. So sometimes I believe things, collarbone, but I have never really taken the time to question those beliefs under the arm. So I choose to look at all my beliefs about my life, top of the head, about my healing, about cancer, about my body, my beliefs about relationships, my beliefs about my body's ability to heal. All these beliefs, perhaps, that have not supported me in the past. I'm open to the possibility of thinking about things in a different way under the arm. I have to ask myself, top of the head, have all these beliefs supported me in my life? Inside the eye, or, so, or have some of them held me back? Side of the eye, have some of these beliefs kept me stuck? under the eye. All these beliefs that have been implanted in my subconscious mind on the chin. It's no different than a software running in the background on a computer. Collarbone. I can change that software under the arm. I can choose to think differently about my beliefs. Top of the head. I can choose to speak positively inside the eye, to think in a different way, and to really examine those beliefs that I've had all my life under the eye and to ask myself if they've really supported me. Those beliefs that have not supported me on the chin, I can choose to change them. Collarbone. It may not be easy under the arm because so many of those beliefs have just become habits. And those beliefs have become repetitive thoughts in my mind, inside the eye. But if I write them down and I analyze them under the eye and I meditate on them, I can ask myself, 
if this is something that is supporter, supporting me or is it hindering my life, my progress, my healing? Under the arm. So I'm open to the possibility of new beliefs, new thought patterns, new affirmations that will support me, that will make my life so much easier Because when I think positive thoughts and I have positive beliefs about myself, so many amazing things come my way. Collarbone. My brain is like a big transmission tower under the arm. I can choose to put out positive thoughts and beliefs, or I can choose to stay stuck in those that hinder me. So I choose change. Change can be challenging but I know change is so important for my healing. Because if I keep doing the things I've always done, I'm going to get the same results. Collarbone. So I choose to do things differently. I choose to think differently. I can even write down my new beliefs inside the eye. I can read my new beliefs out loud side of the eye. And when I say them with conviction and feeling under the eye, my body will respond. Science has proven over and over again that my emotions, my feelings, and my thoughts physically impact my body in a positive or negative way. So I get to choose what my thoughts are inside the eye. So I choose to focus on beliefs that support me side of the eye. I choose to think about beliefs that will support my healing I choose to let go of those negative beliefs that no longer support me because I'm an agent of change under the arm. I am open to new possibilities. Top of the head. And my beliefs support me in a very powerful way because I know that my thoughts become things and my thoughts have a very powerful energy that can produce positive results for my body. All right, take a deep breath. Kind of see where you are with your beliefs and how that brought you down. Perhaps you were a little negative and Debbie Downer, but hopefully that caused a shift. Hello, newbies, good to see you again. So remember, you can use tapping anytime, anywhere. You can do it for five minutes, you can do it for 50 minutes. 
whatever you do, you want to feel that shift. And I know sometimes it's taken me several sessions to feel a shift, but once you do, you're amazed at how your mind and your body feels so differently because you're activating the relaxation response and releasing that stress response. Hello, Ribney, good to see you. So to, tomorrow we're going to tap on another topic that comes up very often. And it's about really believing about the power of your body's ability to heal. Sometimes, you know, women hope that their body can heal, but you have to be a thousand percent convinced that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your body will heal. You're welcome, Whitney. Glad you got energized. So stay tuned. Tomorrow is day 24. We're winding down. So hopefully you've, you've uh, kept up with this. We're getting some great responses. Remember, if you haven't read the second edition of the book yet, it's full of information that will support you. And um, it's evidence-based. So it's not just woo-woo. It's science and evidence-based. All right, this is Dr. V sending you a big healing heart hug. See you all tomorrow. Bye.